I want to start with um, the blues. It's a pretty standard topic and a lot of people know all the basic pentatonic scales and know the blues scales, but I want to just, I want to take you to a whole new dimension. Uh, you might have heard uh, scales like Lydian dominant, jazz bebop minors. There's a whole of these different major and minor pentatonics and applying different scales together. Well, we're going to put them all together. And, we're going to, and I'm going to show you how you're going to basically use every note on the guitar to play blues. Um, and typically with guitar, you learn patterns and you start to learn associations to patterns of why those scales have meaning and what chords, chords they suit. Well, we're going to throw all that away right now. We're going to use a base foundation, which is our architecture of our, our pentatonic scale. And then I'm going to show you how we actually fill it through the other notes. So most, most of you know your basic minor pentatonic in A. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start to encroach on the different shapes of the, the, uh, the pentatonic scale. So we're going to start our A pentatonic down here on the G, on the G9, the third fret. So this is the actual framework of your scale. Three, five on the E, three, five on the A, five, seven on the A, five, seven on the D, five, seven on the G, five, seven on the B, five, five, sorry, five, seven, five, eight on the B and E. So you got this. Okay, very basic. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to look at adding different notes. Now, right now we have in here on an A, we have the minor, the flat third. We're gonna add the major third. Okay. Now we're gonna, we're gonna add the flat five. So we're starting to get chromaticism happening. Now here, there's our root, there's our flat seven. And there's our natural seven, which is our bebop scale. Now, this, this is the way the scales, I, I want you to practice the scale at the end, and then we'll start breaking it down. It's three, five, three, four, five on the E, three, four, five on the A, five, six, seven on the A, five, six, seven on the D, five, six, seven on the G, five, seven, eight on the G again, five, seven, eight on the B, and five, seven, eight on the E. So you got this. Now, that's going to just sound like a nice blue scale. Now, the point here is to start to understand where these, where these notes are and what they actually do, what functions they perform. So, once we're, when we're playing over the A, we're going to be using the root, the minor third. We're going to focus on these notes. And we can actually focus on the major as well. When we go to the, the D, we're going to drop down and we're going to use the actual, the sixth note of the scale. So it's going to be, we're going to focus on, this is the note we're going to focus on when we change. Back over the A. So we start getting, over the A. Back to the A. Now over the E7 sharp nine or over the E chord, it's the similar sort of thing. What we're doing is we're just focusing again on the E major. Now, if we start practicing the scale, forget about all the theory. What I want you to do is I want to start making patterns in, this, in, in here. So let's look at this pattern. from the A. So we've got three on the E, sorry, five on the E, three on the A, six on the A, seven on the A, five on the D, four on the, on the D. Back to uh, six, seven on the A. Right, back to the root, which is the seven on the D. So we've got this. 